Welcome to Art with Liz. Today we're going to be working on some spider prints. All right, let's get started by grabbing our supplies. First, we're going to need a piece of white construction paper. We're also going to need some washable black paint. We're going to use a piece of tin foil, and that's going to be to put your paint on. We will also need a toilet paper roll. A marker is going to be helpful for this project. We're going to use some googly eyes or wiggly eyes if you have them. If not, it's no big deal. We're also going to need some glue. I'm using a glue stick, but if you have bottled glue, that's good. Okay, let's get started. Grab your toilet paper roll and your marker and draw a line around the middle of the tube. This is gonna just kind of guide how long your legs are gonna be on your spider. So once the line is drawn, you're gonna grab your scissors. Cut from the bottom of the tube up until the line. So spiders have eight legs. So I'm gonna cut four legs on one side and four legs on the other side. All right, I got my eight spider legs. Now, you see this piece in the middle? That we don't need. So we're gonna take our scissors and carefully cut that piece off. Um, make sure you don't cut your legs off um, and cut the other side of the tube where that piece is as well. We don't need those. There, now we have our spider stamper. Okay, set your stamper aside and grab your paper. I'm gonna use a pencil to help me sketch out um, some spider webs. I like to draw a star shape and then draw some lines from the points of the stars and then connect them with like a web shape. I'm gonna do this over my whole paper um, and I'm probably gonna make about three spider webs. All right, next I'm gonna grab my marker and kind of go over my pencil lines with my marker. Now that our spider webs are drawn, I'm going to grab my stamper and grab my tin foil. I'm gonna put some paint on the tin foil. Perfect. Next, grab the stamper. And you wanna dip your spider stamper into the paint. You wanna make sure paint gets on all the legs. So if it doesn't, just kinda of smush it back in there. So cover your stamper with paint, and then you're gonna push the tin foil aside and grab your paper. Now we're gonna use the stamper to stamp our spider onto our paper. You hold down your stamper and you might wanna take one of your fingers and kinda of push the legs down. That's just to make sure the paint on the legs transfers onto the paper. Okay, then you can keep repeating the process. So dip the stamper back in the paint and then back on your paper and smush the little legs on there to make sure they all transfer. You can do this as many times as you like. I think I'm probably gonna make about five spiders on my page, but you do what you like. Okay, all my spiders are stamped on. So now I'm gonna grab my glue and I'm gonna grab some of my googly eyes and put some googly eyes onto my spider. I found out while doing this project that spiders have eight eyes generally. I'm not gonna use all googly eyes, but I'm gonna use a couple for each spider. Now that I have my googly eyes on, I'm gonna use my marker and draw the rest of my eyes on each spider. You can do it in different sizes and shapes, whatever you like your spider to look like. All right, all my eyes are on and I think I'm finished. What'd you guys think? Did you have fun? 
hope so. Oh, I meant to tell you, you can also do this project on black paper with white paint. And for the web, I would use a white crayon. All right, thanks for doing the project with me, and hopefully I'll see you next time.